Hello and welcome to our tutorial on the quick selection tool which is found right here. Click and hold down there to see your two options under here and this is what we'll be doing, the quick selection tool. Before you make your selection, absolutely always make sure your auto enhance box is checked on. Uh, it has a tendency to smooth out the edges and make them less blocky. It, it just kind of uses some of the same um, algorithms that you would find in refine edge to, as I say, smooth out the edges and make them not so rough or jagged. Here's what we're going to do. If you saw our tutorial on the magnetic lasso tool, this is exactly the same image. And if you saw how badly the magnetic lasso tool could capture these purple petals, um, you're going to see how good this tool does it. This is just fantastic. I'm just going to start down here. I'm going to click and drag up there. And it's going to be finding the colors that I sweep on. Now I'll just start here, make a little X pattern and come up here and look at this thing. This thing is just fantastic. So it's automatically set. You see the plus uh, sign inside the cursor. Set to add the selection by default. So you can just click and drag away. And again, if you noticed what happened with the magnetic lasso tool, I was struggling with that thing forever. And uh, I'm just basically finished with this. There's an area up here I want to select. Um, and what I would do for this finer selection is, number one, I would zoom in on the image a lot more. You can use your navigator to do that. Or if you have your preferences set to zoom with scroll wheel, all you have to do is just roll the scroll wheel. Now we need to get this little spot here, but my brush tip is way too big. So what I'm going to do is hit the close bracket key to bring down the size of the brush. And then I'm going to go ahead and go boom. Pretty darn good. Not bad at all. Really good. Now I'm going to do the scroll wheel thing to bring her on out again. And I want to show you something else with this tool. Let's go ahead and do some of these greens here. Let me bring my brush tip up a little bit. By, uh, did I say hit the close bracket key uh, to make it smaller? That's not true. It's the open bracket key to make it smaller. And to make it larger, hit the key to the right of that, which is the close bracket key. So I'll make it a little bit larger here. Sweep around the green. Oh, and here it comes. Sweep around the green. Now look what happened. I want to show you the, the beauty of this tool, really, because as you go along, the tool learns sort of what you want to do, which is pretty freaky. Now it's set to plus. You see that in the cursor. I'm going to hold down the Alt key or an Option key on a Mac, and that's going to set to minus. So now what I'm doing is I'm teaching it really. You know, okay. Originally you wanted to take. You thought I wanted all of this. You're wrong. Hold down the Alt or Option key. I actually don't want this stuff. I'll go ahead and click in there. Hold down that Alt or Option key and start clicking away on the stuff that you don't want. Now, this is really instructive, too, because now it's taken a little bit too much. It's still got a little bit of a question in its mind as to what exactly I want. So now I'm going to, with the, with the plus key on, I'm just going to go ahead and sweep around there a little bit and sweep around here. And then the Alt key minus, no, dude, I actually didn't want that. There we go. So the thing gets more refined as you go along in, in, in you're teaching it basically what you want. Fantastic tool. I don't want this up here, so I'm going to hold down the Alt, Option or Alt key. It took a little bit too much. I'm going to come back and boom, do it a little bit more. And over time, what you find happening is that it just gets very, very refined as to what you want, as you tell it what you want. Once you get comfortable with the holding down the uh, Alt or Option key to remove and then releasing it to, to add, uh, this goes really quickly. And I just absolutely love this tool so much. What a one last little shot. Let me try just a little boom click right in there. Pretty good. This is a tough selection to make for any tool uh, because it is so fuzzy on the edge. Quick selection tool. Couldn't be better. Absolutely love it. Okay.
That's about it for that one. It's a real quick one, a good reason they call it a quick selection tool, because it is really quick, and it really does a good job. Make sure you got the Auto Enhance box checked on. Keep your finger poised over the Alt or Option key, and then just click and click and click, and it'll learn quite quickly what you want, and your selections are real nice. As always, with any selection, uh, click on Refine Edge uh, to get a good idea of what is going on, and I can see... Almost always, you need to pull your feather up a little bit, fuzz up the edge of the selection a little bit for any further work you want to do with color or anything else. Always pays not to have a sharp edge on that. Check out our tutorial on Refine Edge also. We go through all the excruciating details, and it's spectacular. I love Refine Edge. Click OK, and we're good to go. Thanks for tuning in, and have a lot of fun with that. I know I do. See you next time.